Alyssa Harden, 25 years old and from the Burley Bears. I've been playing rugby league for about five years. I played one game when I was 11 years old for my local school footy team. Stopped for a little bit, played 40 odd games with the Australian women's indoor volleyball team. Got a few caps with the Australian women's sevens team and loved my time with the sevens program and then transitioned over to rugby league and have represented Queensland and Australia um, as well as captain the Indigenous All-Stars teams. It was just a massive honour to represent my family, my people, my mob, my community. So yeah, that was really special. Once you're surrounded by rugby league, everyone's got that universal love for the game and you can see it out in communities, you can see it out in urban settings, you can see it with your next door neighbours. I think that translates into how we play as well. We all do it because we love it. We value family, value our mateship and value that team environment above everything else. So no one above us, no one below us, we're always beside each other. And yeah, we want to play. <laughs> nice girls, nice. <laughs> Good work. Growing up I had a good support network with my family who really instilled the value of hard work. I've used that throughout my sporting journeys. It doesn't matter what background you come from or what's going on in life, as long as you've got that hard working attitude you can succeed and there's always going to be opportunities for you. There's been a lot of girls who have come before us who were playing the game 15, 20, 30 years ago who fought hard for opportunities for our young girls now and I think we're really starting to benefit from those opportunities. We didn't even have a competition initially. Now the NRL and the QRL have introduced all pathways programs for junior kids so they can start playing at school girls age and they can continue playing after 12 years of age in their own female only competitions and then they progress up to a club level. We've got a responsibility to, to give back to community and to make sure what we're doing off the field is, in a sense, more important than what we're doing actually on it. I do a little bit of work with the Deadly Choices team out of the Institute for Urban Indigenous Health to spread the message of making healthy lifestyle choices. I think it's something that sport teaches you without you even knowing it. You have to lead, you have to be a positive person, you have to be a good teammate and all those values that sport teaches from a young age I think just come out naturally especially when you're learning to teach other young girls and that's something I really pride myself on and I know the Burley girls pride themselves on to be that positive influence for boys and girls. <laughs>